Thomas Villanueva is so pleased with the day's harvest that he breaks into song as he delivers a sample for the kitchen. His wife, Liliana Aranda, will use it to prepare lunch. After working outdoors, everyone is hungry. We thank the water for watering the plants, the compost for feeding them. That compost was made from human excrement, all perfectly normal for farmer Thomas Villanueva and his family. Even at the dinner table, it's no taboo, given their salad and vegetables were grown with nutrients from human feces. On the edge of the small Mexican town of Tepatixla in the state of Mexico, the Orlentiali farm grows fruit and vegetables. Everything here is fertilized exclusively with homemade human dung. We're completing the cycle. What comes from the earth is digested and excreted. The process of composting allows us to give back to the soil what we took from it. So we complete the cycle and life continues. They eat their own vegetables, but they also sell them at markets. All plants need nutrients to grow especially nitrogen and phosphorus. Olintiali is a fully organic farm, and artificial fertilizers are banned. Thomas Villanueva says they're expensive and bad for the soil, so he and his team invest a lot of time and effort collecting excrement from dry toilets, mixing it with natural ingredients like stone powder or straw to transform it into a rich compost over a number of months. The activity of bacteria leads to high temperatures during composting. That heat kills any pathogens. This compost here is now ready, and it smells pleasant, like fertile soil. They use it to grow various types of cabbage, beetroot, broccoli, fruit, and a whole lot more. We've come to the small town of Ocotepec in the state of Morelos. Here, architect Cesar Añorve has also looked at ways of recycling feces. He decided to try out something completely new. This is an ecological neighborhood that I set up more than 20 years ago. I wanted to show that homes can use dry toilets and not pollute any water. In other words, toilets that divert the urine away from the feces and that are not flushed with water. These toilets are not connected to the sewage system either. Urine lands in the front here, poop at the back, just add a bit of soil, and that's it. A lot of raw sewage in Mexico flows directly into lakes, rivers and the sea something Cesar Añorve finds outrageous. He believes dry toilets are the solution and gives workshops teaching people how to build and use them. But getting people to actually talk about poop is the biggest challenge. It's like they're afraid of it. But his sanitation system forces people to think about the subject rather than just flushing it away. As an architect, I discovered that in my profession, water is seen as a means of transporting away feces and urine. I found that terrible. So my work aims to change this perception of water. What I'm doing is reviving the knowledge and understanding of water that our ancestors had. They didn't see excrement as something dirty, but as something that needs to be returned to the earth. Those ancestors used human feces and other organic waste to develop fertile islands, known as chanampas, used for growing crops in wetland areas. They've been used in Mexico since ancient times. On one Chinampa on the edge of Mexico City, Lucio Usubiaga wants to keep that heritage alive. The Chinampas are one rare example of how we humans have helped to promote life and biodiversity. 
So they're a very powerful example of how we can live in harmony with nature. He runs a regenerative farming project called Arca Tierra. The idea is to grow organic produce working as closely as possible with nature. The produce is then sold to restaurants in Mexico City. Dry toilets are a must here. There is neither electricity nor running water, and the chinampas are protected areas, so waste needs to be dealt with. Lucio Usubiaga sees the excrement that has been collected here as a resource. We need to give back to the earth what we've received in the shape of food. Otherwise, you get an imbalance, leading to pests and depleted soil. To feed the plants properly, you need to return all that's left over back to the soil. Right now, they're only fertilizing fruit trees with human dung. They want to first make sure they can reliably filter out any pathogens, residual hormones and medication in the compost before they start using it for vegetables too. Back to the Olin Tiali organic farm. Thomas Villanueva's customers know how his vegetables are grown and they wholeheartedly approve. Poop has a bad image in our society, but we know that this composting process makes it perfectly hygienic. And we always like to say that with poop you never lose a harvest. A cycle of giving and taking, eating and excreting. Something that triggers revulsion elsewhere is seen here as the most natural thing in the world. <laughs> 